Hello, you guys, and welcome to our little tutorial on a little obsessed meal planning using the containers and the timed nutrition system. So my name is Kylie, and I am going to share with you today just some of my basic generic tips that I have for meal planning and how I set up my meals and then just also to kind of get you into the mindset and one thing I just want to keep iterating with you is I've worked with hundreds of women and I hear all the time that meal planning is hard nutrition is hard like setting schedules and everything like that is hard and as much as that is true it also comes with a decision up here and you made an investment in yourself in the program in wanting to make a change and so we have to flip up here from that this is hard to this is something I know that I need to do so what I'm gonna do is share my screen and I'm actually going to minimize myself and I'm gonna stick myself up in the corner and I'm gonna walk you guys through how I set up my meal plans and how I work through this. So this is your Beachbody On Demand. Um, when you come, you'll log in. You can see that I'm logged in right here. Um, and then you'll be able to scroll through and see the different programs. And here is where we want to start is with a little obsessed. Here are all of your workouts. And then we're going to click over here on program materials. And here is the workout portion. We're going to keep scrolling down. And we are going to click here on the a little obsessed meal plan, eating plan. And here is also the vegan option if that is a choice um, or a need for you as well. So I am going to click on that right here. And what I want to encourage you to do, first off, no matter what, no matter what program you start with is to read the meal plan front to back like read it from page 1 to page 11 and I'm not going to do that in this video but I want to encourage you to do that because you catch little snippets and it kind of talks to you and walks you through um, how to use the plan and especially here it talks about how to use the portion containers so like for example I'm just gonna point this out here like there's a calculation we're gonna do in a minute um, these containers take the guesswork out of trying to figure out what to eat, when to eat, and how much. So once we figure out your calculation, if you have the number two next to the purple square, that means that you will have to eat or fill two purple containers of fruit each day. Okay, so twice a day you'll have to eat fruit and fill that container full. So we're going to look at the food list that's at the end as well. So we've got your vegetables, your fruits, your proteins, your carbohydrates, your healthy fats in the blue, your seeds and dressings in the orange, and your oils and nut butters in the dark. Teaspoon does not include this, so that's something you have to measure on your own, just so you are aware. So here is the calculation, okay? So to calculate, calculate your target calorie number. Now we're not counting calories, but we have to find your range of calories, like <clears throat> about how much that you need. And then it's that scientific broken down of if you need this many calories, then this many should come from carbs. So that means you need two yellow containers a day. So you're going to start with your current weight. You're going to times it by 11 and that becomes your caloric baseline. Then what you are going to do is you are going to take that caloric baseline and add 400 calories because in a little obsessed, you are going to be burning about 400 calories. So we have to add that into effect. There are your maintenance calories. If you are wanting to maintain your current weight, or if you are somebody that is wanting to gain weight, um, this is the number that you would stop at. So for example, myself, I'm not really looking to lose weight right now, so I am going to remain at that maintenance calorie option. If your goal is to lose weight, then you are going to want to move down to step C and find your calorie target. So your maintenance calories minus 750, that equals your calorie target. Now, if you are somebody who is breastfeeding, you are going to want to probably stay at that maintenance calorie bracket, or if you are looking to lose, you could do the calorie target, but then you're going to want to add 500. So really, for the calorie deficit, you could just subtract 250, 
and see where that puts you. Um, but you are really going to want to make sure you get enough of your protein, enough of your veggies, and are drinking lots and lots and lots of water. Um, one thing to also keep note of is if your calorie target is less than 1200, like if you are 1150, round up to 1200, okay? Sometimes I have customers that um, are lower than 1200 and they think they should be eating less, um, and that's not the case. We want you to still be eating, um, so bump up to that. And then vice versa, if you are more than 2800, round down to 2800, okay? So then you determine your eating plan. So for the example that I'm going to give you, I'm going to work here in plan B. So that would be 1,500 to 1,799 calories a day. So here is how many of each container you're going to need to consume throughout the day. So you're going to need four greens, three purples, four reds, three yellows, one blue, one orange, and four teaspoons. Or vice versa, if you're over on plan A, how much you need over there, and then vice versa as you work your way up. Now, some of you, if you are in whatever bracket, really, if you are kind of coming from not eating very well balanced, you may look at these numbers and you may think extreme. You may think, wow, this is not a lot of food until you actually start eating it. Or you could be on the opposite. I've had people in plans E and F before, um, feeling like they're eating too much food. And what is really important to remember is that we are focusing on lifestyle long-term and honestly to lose weight, your body needs food. And especially with these workouts, they are more intense. So your body is burning, you are sore. So you are working your muscles continuously. And so we have got to switch that mindset of I can't eat to lose, but that you're eating to fuel your body, okay? So start thinking in terms of that way. If you are still struggling to get all your containers in, you need to make sure your proteins, the red and the greens, you are not skipping those at all. Um, the, the purples are important as well too. If you are up here in this upper bracket and you feel like that's too much food, then maybe cut back some of your yellow containers if necessary and talk to me about that before you choose to do that. But um, honestly though, the red and the greens are super important to make sure that we are getting enough of. So here is a sample and, and with timed nutrition, okay, the point of us starting this with a little obsessed and prepping for 80 day obsession is that we can get used to this philosophy. And really, it's not a hard concept. I'm actually excited for it because there are times when I know I should eat, but I don't know what to eat. Or there are times where I know my body needs fuel, but I'm like, oh, I don't know what time I ate at. And, and this is all based around your workout. So for the example I'm going to give you, I, I'm a morning worker outer, but this block, you can take it and swap it for whenever it is that you work out. And I know some of you, your workouts vary from day to day what time you get them in, um, but this is just kind of something where you can at least have your meals planned and you're ready to go no matter what happens. So 60 to 90 minutes before you work out, <clears throat> you are going to need, and this is for plan A, by the way, for an example. So 60 to 90 minutes, you're going to have that pre-workout meal. And right here are the containers and the suggestions for that meal. 20 to 30 minutes before you're going to put push play. So, you know, 30 minutes after you eat that workout meal, you're going to take your Energize. And then during your workout, Hydrate is an option. I definitely, I use it every day myself. I definitely recommend that. And then within 30 minutes after your workout, you're going to consume your Recover and a purple and a fruit. Then one to two hours after your workout, your after workout meal, you are going to have, again, a green, a red, and a yellow. So your post-workout meal continues to give your body fuel after you've worked out. So this workout, what I would just do, honestly, is if you know like tomorrow you're gonna work out at three o'clock, right, three o'clock there, and then work your way back. So if you're at work at 
1.30, but you know you're gonna work out at three, you need to have these items prepared to help you eat that before you get your workout in. Same thing if you're gonna work out at 6 a.m., then you know at five or five, let's see, six, so five or 4.30 a.m., you've gotta get up and have that pre-workout meal. Now, if you are a morning worker outer like me, here's my plan. And I'm going to show it to you here in a minute. But I am getting up my normal time, but I'm going to eat right away. And then I'm going to either do a few things around my house, like my little cleaning tasks, or I'm going to start doing my um, devotion and my reading in the morning while I'm letting that food settle, while I'm letting my energize kick in. Um, so some of my typical post-workout activities, I'm going to switch and do before my workout while my body is preparing to get that workout in. So that's the workout block, okay? So that is how your food is going to function, and, and here it explains exactly why. Now, you guys, I am not a nutritionist, I am not a personal trainer, I am not an expert in this field, but the people that created this meal are. <laughs> they had the scientific, autumn is amazing, this, this type of stuff interests me, I just don't have that that actual background in this area. But this is all scientific. This is down to a specific. And I know when I was in the shift shop test group, I trusted their process. I did exactly what I was asked of me, what was said in the books, and I got the results that showed. And this is the same thing with all those 80 day obsession. Um, everybody that was in the test group, they dove head first. They, they trusted the process. And that's what I'm going to continue to tell you while we're prepping for 80 day obsession and when 80 day obsession kicks is we have to trust the process. So here are some samples though. And this is one, one thing I really want to mention too. So when I first saw this, this, um, these samples and I thought, wow, okay. So I work out in the morning eating a vegetable, a protein, a carb, and an oil at 4.30, 4.45 in the morning, that just does not sound appealing to me, okay? Anybody else? Like vegetables before like 10 o'clock? No, Blech. no. So <laughs> there is an option right here, a meal option one. And just so you know, in 80 Day Obsession, the actual um, nutrition guide. There are a lot more examples. There's a lot more samples available. It's broken down by each plan. So there will be more information given in 80 day obsession. But here's an example of something that you could swap your pre-workout meal for a purple, a red, and a teaspoon. I will tell you that I intend on doing this. I intend on swapping and putting my a purple, a red, and a teaspoon in on that meal option one. So for example, I'm gonna show you here in a minute. I plan on having my shake um, and then a little bit of peanut butter or I might even save my teaspoon, um, put a little bit of almond butter or something like that in my shake or eat it <laughs> just by the spoonful um, and then having a fruit. So that is personally my plan because to me that sounds way more appealing at 4.45 in the morning than um, some potatoes and eggs and carrots or something like that, okay? So look through here, um, and this might also be a good idea to swap that if you are at work while, you know, before you're going to be pushing play or whatever it might be, or um, if you, I know some of you are home with kids and your workout time is so random, well, maybe drinking your shake really quick is an easier option than trying to scramble two eggs or whatever, okay? So here are your blocks. You can look through and see some specific ideas as we get down here and plan C and plan D. Um, here are some more options for adding different things in and that, that swap, okay? All right, and then it obviously increases with your post-workout and everything like that. So continuing down here, so now, now it's kind of up to you to create 
your timed nutrition meals. And so we have to space out the rest of our meals every two to three hours, allowing for digestion, the maximum absorption of the nutrients. Um, this is some of the things that I like the most is to eat your red containers throughout the day. Um, so don't just eat them all in the morning. Don't just eat them all at night. Kind of try to spread them throughout so that your body and your muscles are having access to recover and grow. Eat your yellows, your carbs, and your purple, your fruit, earlier in the day so your body can utilize them for energy and recovery. Um, and there's lots of meal planning recipes on the Beachbody blog or on the Fixate cooking show. So here is the container list. And here's two bullets that I want to make sure you guys read through is that the food lists are arranged in nutritional value. So the higher up on the list, the more nutritional benefit they have, the lower on the list, the least nutrient nutritional benefit, but they're all important. Okay. Um, and then some of them you can't really fit in the container. So for example, like it'll say 10 asparagus spears, is one serving of a green, you just really can't fit into it. But anything else that doesn't have an amount, um, make sure you can fill the container and then put the lid on it. So here is where I pull my food from when I am creating my meal plan, when I'm figuring out what I wanna eat, um, when I'm trying to plan my meals and figure things out, I am looking here, okay? So you can scroll down, you can see like for, um, Proteins, sardines are the most nutritional value up here. And then chicken broth is the least nutritional value, right? Um, here are the yellow containers, the carbohydrates. Here's your healthy fats, all your different cheeses. Um, here is the orange container, so the seeds and the dressings. Your oils and your nut butters, good things to put in your um, when you're using to make your food and that kind of thing. And I know I got asked a question about milk and I'm going to have to look into that a little bit more. It used to be a yellow, but I don't see it on this list. Um, it used to be like in this section, but here are some free things, some free things you can have. Here's water. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. So for your Shakeology bases, and I would do this if you're drinking it on its own too, um, unsweetened almond milk is a teaspoon, hallelujah. Um, low fat milk would be one yellow and half a teaspoon, and that's one cup, okay? All right, so now that we've kind of looked through that, I'm gonna scroll, I can actually I can stay here. So here's what I do or did. So I started working on this. This is for next week. I'm not doing Christmas day. I'm skipping Monday because I know that for me personally, I will officially get started on Tuesday, the 26th. So here is my plan. So plan B, 1500 calories to 1799. Here are, I need four green, three purple, four red, three yellow, one blue, one orange, and four teaspoons, okay? So here's like, I, I left a blank one so that I can share it with you if you need it, kind of broken it down. My pre-workout meal is gonna be a red, a purple, a teaspoon, 20 to 30 minutes before my energize, then hydrate, and then within 30 after my recover and a purple on and on and on. So then what I did is, so this part we knew. So here I swapped this with the pre-workout meal. And I also added a blue and an orange because this is going to be at my lunchtime. So I know I'm probably going to have a salad. So I added that stuff in there. Two to three hours later, a green and a purple. And then meal three, a green, a red, a yellow, and a teaspoon. Sorry about that. Okay. So I did a sample day and then I'll kind of walk you through how I do this. So I left a category here so I can time this out. So 4.45, I'm going to get up. I'm going to have my pre-workout meal of a purple, a red, and a teaspoon. So I'm going to have my Shakeology. I'm going to mix in some peanut butter. And then I'm also going to have some clementines, okay? So basically what I did is I went over here. I said, okay, purple container. What sounds good? What do I already have? What do I like? And I know I saw clementines on here. 
No, I'm not gonna be able to find them. Otherwise, I would consider them oranges, but I thought I saw. Tangerine, kind of pretty much the same thing. There's an orange. Shoot, okay. All right, anyways, I just know I have those in my fridge. So I went and I found a purple container. Okay, what do I have? What do I know that I eat? Okay, awesome. I will eat clementines. Then at 5.30, I'm going to have my Energize. And then during my workout, I'm going to have my hydrate. And then at 6.45, when my workout is done, when um, within that 30 minutes after, I'm going to have my recover plus a purple. So I'm going to have recover and I'm going to have a cup of grapes or a purple container of grapes. Then one to two hours after my workout. So by 8.45, I'm going to have a green, a red, a yellow, and a teaspoon. So probably what I will do is make up some egg muffins or cook up a big batch of eggs with spinach, but I'm going to have two eggs, one cup of spinach. I'm also going to cut and do a bunch of red potatoes all at once and, and um, portion those out, have those ready to go um, in my portion containers. Do a half a cup of red potatoes and olive oil at 845. That's going to be my little um, post-workout meal after that. Two to three hours later, so about 11.45-ish at the latest, my, my lunch or my meal one, I'm going to have a green, a red, a yellow, a teaspoon, and then I'm adding in a blue and an orange. So I'm going to have a cup of romaine, three-fourths cup shredded chicken, a half a cup of brown rice, one orange dressing, and a fourth of a cup of shredded cheese. Now, because I've done this for a long time, I know that those containers fit. But again, what I just did is looked over here. I'm like, hey, what's a green that I could have? So maybe, maybe you don't like lettuce. Okay, that's fine. Look over here, cucumbers. Do you like cucumbers? Awesome. Do one cup of cucumbers, three, four cups of shredded chicken, on and on and on. So looking at that that way, using this list here to fill your containers and go from there. Um, and then, so moving down here, then two to three hours later, meal two. So a little bit later, 2.45 to 3 o'clock, I'm going to have my snack, my meal two, which is going to be a green and a purple, one cup of carrots, and one apple. And I'm going to be honest with you, knowing myself, probably what I would do is move this green up here to lunch and have a little bit bigger of a lunch and a little bit smaller of a snack because that's just me. I know how I am. I know I tend to eat more at lunch that way. Then two to three hours after that, so by six o'clock, I am eating supper. A green, a red, a yellow, a teaspoon. So we're gonna cook a cup of broccoli with that teaspoon of olive oil. I'm gonna have three-fourths cup pork chop, half a cup of sweet potato. And then all of that was gonna be cooked in that olive oil, okay? So that is an example for me of breaking down my containers, breaking down my food. Now, I will say what I would do and what I would suggest doing to make this easier is I can look at this now and I can say, okay, I see my shopping list. I see that on Monday sometime or Tuesday morning, I'm going to want to make up a bunch of eggs and spinach. I'm going to want to cook up red potatoes. I'm going to want to figure out if I want to bake my chicken in the oven, do it in the crock pot. Um, I'm going to want to make my rice at some point. You know, measuring out my food, meal prepping it, because probably what I'm going to do is Thursday have a very similar meal plan because I'll already have some cooked chicken. I'm not just going to cook up three-fourths a cup of chicken. I'm going to cook up a couple chicken breasts and use them for something else, use them for something different. Okay, I hope this is helping you. I really do. <clears throat> so, um, oops, hang on, this didn't get switched. All right, so now I'm gonna walk through and make a day with you. So um, here, so again, this is going to stay the same, my pre-workout meal. I'm gonna have Shakeology. I'm gonna put some powdered peanut butter in there. And then for my fruit in the morning, I think I will just do an apple, okay? Or if I'm really crazy and out there, I will do like blend 
my fruit into my Shakeology, but um, sometimes I like to just eat my fruit separate. And I don't have a problem with that. All right, so then I'm gonna have my energize, I'm gonna have my hydrate, recover, and then what fruit do I want to eat with my recover? Um, I think I will just stick with grapes because I, I like that they're nice and easy. Can eat that right afterwards with my recover. Okay, post workout meal, one to two hours after. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick with the eggs because I like having eggs. I'm going to stick with a half a cup of red potatoes because I know that I'm going to meal prep those. They'll have the olive oil already in them. But for my green, I actually am going to look over here and pick something different. So I'm going to look at what I have. I'm going to look at what I know I like. And I actually just bought sweet peppers to try. So I am going to have that. And that's actually going to be one cup. One cup of sweet peppers. Is Now I could cook those in my eggs, but I'm going to just chop them up and eat them separate. Maybe mix them in with my potatoes and call it good. That way. So that's going to be my post-workout meal. All right. Down here, I need um, probably, I'm going to do another cup of romaine, maybe spinach. Um, I need a red. So what other meat? Oh, I know. Here we go. I had pork chop last night, right? Um, Tuesday night. I'm going to have leftover pork chop. So I'm going to put three-fourths cup of pork chop mixed in there. Um, I still am going to have leftover brown rice. So I'm going to have brown rice in there. Um, and I'm going to have the teaspoon that was cooked in the pork chop and then one orange of dressing and what's a fourth a cup of shredded cheese. So that's going to be my, my lunch. Okay. So another green, I'll be honest, you guys, I really am not a huge variety person when it comes to greens. Bamboo shoots. Make sure you get those in there. <laughs> Um, so again, I'm probably just going to stick with carrots and you can see they're like right in the middle of the pack. So I'm going to stick with carrots, one cup carrots, and I'm going to do two, or I'm going to do clementines for actually, I'm going to do grapes here, mix it up. I'm going to do half a banana here. That's, excuse me guys, that's one thing to be aware of and that's why you always wanna check this. So banana, half of a large banana counts as one serving. So just so you guys are aware. One cup of grapes. Okay, here we are back at supper. Two to three hours later, I'm actually gonna make Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Um, what, oh, and we're going to do, I'm going to have three-fourths cup of hamburger, so we're going to make hamburgers, Brussels sprouts, hamburgers, I need a yellow, I need a good yellow, again, I'll be honest, we tend to eat the similar ones that we tend to eat, like, I make a lot of red potato, I like sweet potato, but probably what I'm going to do Actually, okay, I forget that there's oatmeal in here. So what I'm gonna do, oops, what I'm gonna do here, we go. I'm gonna make this half a cup of oatmeal, and then I'm gonna do the half a cup of red potatoes down here. And one teaspoon extra virgin, extra virgin oil, olive oil, that's what that is. So there you go, there is day two. Now I will be completely honest, what I will probably do for Thursday, and this is because personally, myself, I don't like a lot of variety. Um, I like what I like, <laughs> and I tend to stick with that. So, 
this is going to become Thursday, December 20, December 28th. All right, that's correct. Yep. Okay, so, but what I will do maybe is switch this. So I'm going to do half a banana here. Um, I'm going to switch this to one apple. So I will switch it up a little bit. I'm going to switch this to one cup grapes. Um, let's see. I'm going to keep that the same. I'm going to keep this the same because I know that I'm going to have extra or, or leftover hamburger, okay, if that's available. And then I will probably mix this up. I will probably, um, maybe I will do the shredded chicken here. So I'm going to get rid of this up here. And then, oops, I'm just going to get rid of this part three-fourths a cup of leftover hamburger. There we go. That's what we're going to do. So, and then same thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scroll up here, and I'm going to copy this day. And this is going to become... Now, for those of you that are not um, this personality, like, what is this, type A, like, organization... This drives you guys nuts. I know that. This is something you don't you don't like doing. But I don't know how to tell you different. It's just this is what I have to do to be successful. I know that I have to plan things out. I have to have this organized. I have to have myself prepared and everything set out. And if I don't, that's when I fail and just make crappy choices when it comes to food. I'll just be completely honest. Um, oh, one thing I'm going to do here. Actually, you know what I could do is I'm actually I'm going to do this. So eggs, oatmeal. We're going to skip this and put one cup Greek yogurt. Where? just to mix things up. Get a little bit, one cup Greek yogurt. Just to get a little bit of difference in there. Um, what did we have for supper? Shredded chicken. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do steak. I'm gonna buy some steak and grill that up. Um, let's mix this up a little bit. Oh, I know. Let's do, let's do one cup grilled peppers and then three-fourths cup of shrimp, half a cup of red potatoes, and a teaspoon of olive oil. Okay. So, and then let's see, a little obsessed is five days. So I think I have one, two, three, four. Oh, what the heck, you guys? Let's just, because, let's just finish because I'm on a roll. Saturday, the 30th. All right. Let's, I'm just going to keep my fruit the same. Did I just copy? Oh, yeah. I want to do my apple or my egg thing right here. Okay. So, what did, oh, I had shrimp. So maybe I'm going to have some leftover shrimp. Probably not. So I'm just going to continue. I'm going to use the same steak, my leftover steak from the night before. Um, and then for supper, so it's Saturday night, we might get kind of crazy, not squid and um, clam octopus crazy, but let's see. Oh, you know what? We're going to have tacos. We're going to do tacos. So I'm going to have one cup. I'm still going to say grilled peppers slash romaine, three-fourths cup taco meat. 
And then let's see for the yellow, what would be the shell? And so often too, you guys, I hear like, oh, my spouse is tortilla. There we go. Um, oh, my, my spouse is picky and blah, blah, blah. I, here's what I would do is they are going to have to learn to adapt to this. And all I know from my experience is as long as there's food on the table, something to eat, my husband will eat. And if he doesn't, then I say, find your own, find yourself something to eat. Okay. So there we go. I just, what did that take me like a half an hour, but this is all set up. This is all ready to go. We're set up for success. If I really want to go crazy, I can come down here and I can scroll through and I can make myself a grocery list. Okay. I'm going to stop my share and I will email this out. I will share this with you guys, but that that's it. That is how I set up the plan. That is how the time nutrition works. And so thinking about, I think once you nail that workout block part, that's what's going to be huge and crucial. And then after that, you can just kind of work your way back, work your way forward um, and going from there. Okay. So whatever questions you've got, shoot them my way. And hopefully this makes sense and hopefully this helps and hopefully we can kick off nutrition to the right foot on the 26th. So, all right, you guys, thank you.